It's important to know how peer-reviewed academic journal articles are structured in order to know how to read them for information. Academic journals can contain a variety of types of content, including literature reviews that provide overviews of the existing academic research on specific topics and concepts, book reviews, and articles that report the findings of academic research. Research articles often follow a similar format in terms of how they're organized. This makes it easier to find specific types of information within an article. While not every academic journal article will use the same labels in organizing their content, most articles will typically be structured in the same order. Most articles begin with their title, authors, publication information, and an abstract that summarizes the content of the article. Abstracts are very helpful in giving you an idea as to what the article is about and can save you time as it helps you determine whether an article could be relevant to your research topic. You won't get everything you need to know from an abstract, but they are helpful in making your research process more efficient. Most articles have an introduction that provides context about the article's topic and a review of previous research. This can illustrate how a researcher's work connects to the larger body of knowledge about the topic. This section includes citations to other sources that focus on the same topic. You'll also find the author's overall focus of their research here, including what they were attempting to find out through their own research. You'll also find information about how the methodology or research design were structured. This tells you the methods and procedures the author conducted during their research. If this were a research study that involved participants, you'd learn how those participants were selected, their demographic information, and what they were asked to do during the study. Researchers describe their methodology not only to connect it to their overall research question, but so that other researchers down the road could potentially recreate their study. The results section outlines what the researchers discovered through their study. This section can also describe how the results of the study were analyzed and any statistical measures that were involved in analyzing the results. The discussion section summarizes the results of the study and how those results correspond with what the author intended to discover by conducting the study. If the researcher had a hypothesis that predicted a certain outcome, this is where you would learn whether the results of the study proved or disproved that hypothesis. The author may also suggest directions that future research on the topic could take. At the end of the article, you'll find the References section. This section lists all of the sources the author cited in their literature review. The References section can be very useful in finding other articles that focus on the same topics and concepts.